Always fun to have a coffee and check out cool properties like that. Earlier this week, I had the opportunity to sit down with Alex and Narit and the CEO of the agency, Mauricio Umansky. What a great interview. We're going to learn a lot about the movement of the real estate industry, how it impacts consumers. You're going to love this interview. Let's go check it out. Well, it's always fun to show you the D.C. marketplace, the lifestyles, the stories, the neighborhoods, and the real estate. Nareek Coombe and Alex Martinez, award-winning realtors. And today, we're sitting down with them to talk a little bit about real estate advice and a new announcement that they have to bring to the show. So with that being said, excited to have all of you guys on the show and introducing Mauricio Umansky with the agency. So, Nareek, do you want to let the cat out of the bag for our audience here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for having us. Um, we are so excited. It took us a while, and we've been looking for what the next thing to do. And we are now opening uh, the new agency office right here in D.C. Putting yes. a flag, we are partnering with Mauricio, and we're so excited. So this, this is this is what we're doing. Mauricio, okay. I remember the first interview we did with Narit months ago. She, the one thing she really focused on is how she negotiates a great deal. Did <laughs> she grind you a bit? Like, how did how'd we get through this? Oh, Craig, I cannot tell you what a grind it was. And uh, one <laughs> of the most exciting things about it was to know how well Narit and Alex do negotiate was actually an exciting thing because we knew at that point that we had great team members and that we were so excited to go... Uh, you know, paint DC red a little bit. Um, so we're just excited about uh, the, 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 uh, the partnership that we've created. Uh, we're, we're excited to be, you know, further our presence in the East Coast, uh, DC being one of those places. My daughter is currently at GW. And uh, so, you know, it's a place I visit often and I just can't wait to get back on the plane and go see you guys all the time out there. Yeah, you know, I agree. I, I've traveled all the country launching this show and I always say that D.C. is one of those markets, if I ever left Southern California, which I understand you're in Southern California as well, that would, that would be one of the places I could go. Great culture, and Nareet and Alex have done a phenomenal job just showing us the life of that market. And, and I want to talk about real estate with you guys while we have you here today. Uh, before we dive into that, for our audience, the agency, you guys got a great backstory, one of the stronger brands in all of real estate now, gaining a lot of market share, and as you just mentioned, just growing on the East Coast here. Tell us a little bit about your backstory, Mauricio, with the agency. Yeah, so we started the agency about approximately 10 years ago. We're now in our 10th year. Uh, we've done it the good old American way, uh, the American dream. We've done it without any, uh, any uh, debt, uh, and we've grown it just from grassroots. Uh, we started it ourselves. We don't have partners. We haven't brought in any partners, and literally it's just been an absolute organic growth, which I think is very different than everything else that has happened. Uh, out in the industry today. One of the most exciting things is that we're very consumer driven through our agents. So what we do is we really take care of our agents through a lot of different technologies. Our technologies actually work. Uh, one of the beautiful things is that we have 100% participation in our CRM systems. We have access to wealth mapping. We have access to demographics and psychographics. We use a lot of different intelligence things and we actually put it to work. It actually works. Uh, Super exciting, our growth now, we, we've grown now to approximately 35 offices across the country, Mexico, Canada, and Turks and Caicos. You know what I, what I love about what you said, and we have in common as a show and, and as your entrepreneurial model, is you impact the consumer through the relationships you have with the top real estate teams. And I feel like that's a big part of what this show is. I always say it's a real show, not a reality show. And we form the voice of these markets through the best teams. So. Coincidentally, that, that we have that in common. On the flip side of it, let's talk to Alex and Narit. You guys, very successful out there in the real estate market. For you to make that kind of move, well, first of all, it's, it's never easy to make a big move when you've got a big team like yours, but also it's competitive. You have a lot of other big brands that are making moves as well. The real estate market is disrupted. What, what caused you to go in that direction when there's other choices? Uh, I want to take on this one. Uh, I guess more of anything, uh, Nurit and I really, you know, as you can only imagine, we're top producing uh, team, and we have brokers, you know, and companies uh, reaching out to us consistently uh, that they want to speak with us about what they have to offer. Uh, when we actually uh, 
talk about the agency, uh, it was Nurit who actually brought that uh, red book that the agency has, and we looked at it together and we're like, oh my God, who are these people? We really want to see what they're all about. The way they embraced us when we first walked into the office, it just felt like we were part of the agency already. Uh, we were just completely fascinated on uh, you know their structure, they were they they collaborate with uh, one another. Uh, the egotistic culture wasn't there. You know, a lot of the real estate agents believe that they're, you know, it. They're wearing many hats and they're not doing it right. They're not delivering the right experience to the consumer. And I gotta tell you, as we walked into the agency, we just fell in love with the way they were structured. There were a lot of similarities on how they, the dynamic and the culture. We always believe on hiring the right people and the best people. And that's what we saw with agents. Well, I know it's a big announcement for you guys on the real estate side of things to the consumers. Nirid, I'd love for you to comment on, you know, the impact this will have on you and being able to help more families in DC. You know, it all started with when we were looking for a PR company. We were looking at what we're doing and we decided, you know, should we do it? We want to elevate the experience, elevate the marketing, elevate the reach to the clients. And when, uh, and even our print material and our social media. And the nice thing about it, is to have all the systems to back behind us. So I can provide this amazing service to any price range. It's not just luxury houses because they have a backend system, really the only company, because believe me, after 19 years with the same franchise, I, I interviewed everybody you can imagine. And it's the first time I actually, what they said, they have. I looked at the back end and it's amazing. And I can provide this amazing service to any client of any price, any price range right here in DC. Very cool. Mauricio, since I have you here, I'd love to get you to comment on the real estate market. Obviously it's a crazy time right now. COVID impacted the real estate environment. I thought very differently then on what's happening now. Who would have thought it would create this much movement moving out of cities, move up buyers. I just, the activity is insane. The inventory is low. I, I'd love to get your take on what's going on in the real estate market. Well, first of all, I just want to comment that you talked about this being a real television show and you put, you know, you said it's not a reality television show. I happen to know a little bit about reality television, as you guys all know. And, uh, and I do enjoy filming a real television show. I live with a real housewife and I can tell you that some of the drama is really real. So, uh, <laughs> all right. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. But uh, going back, you know, it's very interesting what's happened over the last eight months. Um, families have you know, been locked down and been quarantined and have had an opportunity to really have major discussions uh, within themselves, uh, within the family, but also within themselves and really try to understand what it is that they want out of their life and what it is that they want out of their home. I haven't done the stats in, in, in about a month, but I, I know we were really close to catching up to 2019 levels in terms of volume, uh, even with those two, three months of tremendous slowdown. And so I, I just think that as long as the interest rates stay low, uh, we're going to start, you know, we're going to continue to see a strong market, you know, for time to come. Not 100% sure we see tremendous appreciation and values uh, across the country. We will see appreciation and values in certain marketplaces within the country. Um, but we're definitely going to continue to see strong volume low supply and a strong demand. And you guys are making a real impact. So we appreciate you coming on the American Dream, sharing your story. Congratulations on your collaboration with the agency. Mauricio, congratulations on all your guys' growth and I know continued growth. So thanks for coming on the American Dream, appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And uh, thank you, Alex and Narit, and everybody have a great week. More of the show coming up next.